Hello again from the Dino Fab Lab. We're back with the fuel injector tester. Uh, it's almost like the one I built in the last video, but I made a few changes since I've had it out there in the internet world and it's been on some blogs and a few forums. I've had a few suggestions from people to make the circuit better. So uh, let's take a look at those first. There's a few I've done myself, but uh, as per a few viewers and uh, postees on some forums, I added a protection diode, which is a really good idea on the input side. It's on the positive side in case the battery gets hooked up backwards, which could happen pretty easily in an automotive environment. And I've also added a Zener diode. This is an IN4148 across the outputs to the coil, which helps eliminate back EMF from hurting the MOSFET, which could potentially happen. The MOSFET has inherently built into it uh, a Zener, but it can sometimes not be enough to protect it in the case of pretty strong back EMF voltage, so I put that in. Also added a 10 ohm resistor uh, on the gate from pin 3, so it's running through a 10 ohm resistor before it goes to the gate. I was told this helps eliminate gate ringing. And there's also a 100K resistor between the gate and ground, rather than just a straight path to ground. So those are the changes that were suggested by some people on some forums. The changes I have made uh, involve making the circuit a bit more versatile. And uh, the first one of those is the ability to change the output duration. And uh, the way I've done this is in the monostable side of the circuit, as you recall, it makes a one second pulse if it's triggered. Oh, and it's hooked to a fuel injector now, which I have on hand, which helps a lot with things. And uh, I get that one second pulse, and if I want to, I can now switch SW2, here it is, uh, which takes out the 1 microfarad capacitor and connects a 4.7 microfarad capacitor so this has a longer duration because of the higher charge of the capacitor that it can hold. So let's engage that switch and you'll see that I have a, approximately a 5 second output now. And that's with the 4.7 microfarad capacitor. And here it is with the 1 microfarad capacitor one second. And again with 4.7. About five seconds. So that's a handy addition. That helps a bit with uh, fuel injector testing. And then the other thing I did was to add a switch that disconnects this second 100k uh, resistor here on the monostable circuit. And what that does if it's if, if both resistors are connected, then I can push the switch and hold it, but it'll still just do a one second pulse. If I disconnect this second resistor, I can hold the switch and I have a pulse as long as I hold the switch. So that's another one that's kind of handy. If I wanted to do a volume test, for instance, I could just you know physically count out 30 seconds with a stopwatch or something and let the fuel injector bleed into a jar and measure how much fuel was delivered and match injectors that way. So there's a few changes I made to the circuit. Um, oh, also added a buffer capacitor here across the, uh, the inputs, um, a 47 ohm capacitor. Now I'm going to take this and put it on a printed circuit board that I made. There's another video that showed that um, using the laser printer technique that a lot of people use. This one came out pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with it and I need to drill a few more holes in it and solder up all the components. And then we'll be putting this into a new box, and it'll be a finished project.